Welcome to my channel, Freckled Mom. I'm Devin. Today, I'm sharing some crafts under $5 for a sweet tiered tray. This is also part of a challenge. I'll explain that in a few. But first, let's jump into the DIYs. Okay, so I am making my first beehive ever. I have um, some things that I didn't even use here. I have some rope and I am wrapping it around a Dollar Tree planter. So I make a loop. This is for the top of the hive and I'm gonna hot glue it right to the planter. And then I just hot glue the sides. I thought that would be the best way. I don't know, extra security, I'm not sure. Again, first beehive ever. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom and I'm hot gluing around the edge and I'm going to keep doing this. I don't hot glue the entire thing, but I do hot glue the first row. And then I just start wrapping and gluing sporadically and I wrap very, very tight. And as I get to the top, I definitely add a little bit more glue. Now I'm gluing the rope to the rope, if that makes sense, because you can't really glue to the planter anymore and then I just cut it off I tuck it in and now I'm making the little hole for the bees and I hot glued that but now I'm gonna clean up a little bit before I hot glue it so that was just a little bit of fire to get the little scraggly guys and I hot glue this right to the hive now I'm painting this with a watered down antique wax and I thought I was gonna get the color I wanted and I didn't so now I am going to do the little entrance for the bees and I just do this with a black. There's no set kind of paint that I use, just a random black acrylic paint. I think I got this at the Target dollar spot. Now I'm going through with the antique wax again, but this time not watered down. I wanted to get it a little bit more rustic, a little bit more old, I guess, I don't know. And now I'm gonna just put some flowers on it. These are just little flowers I picked off of other flowers and I'm hot gluing it right to the hive. And I am so in love with this. I like literally cannot say how adorable this is. This is the cutest thing like I've ever made. Look at that, oh my goodness. I had made a couple more little hives, not within the $5, but just a little something something for my sweet tiered tray. This is a challenge, five for five dollars. Five items for five dollars, hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Make sure to check out their channels as well as the playlist, which is in my description. Let's jump into the next project. So this is a little honey farm I made with a bunch of Dollar Tree items. We have mini containers in a box, a bunch of paint, and some stencils. Oh, and chalkboard signs. So I'm gonna start by painting my box with my linen white chalk paint. And now I'm gonna start with my little containers. The nectar, I use daffodil, brush gold, and spice berry. Oh my goodness. This was a little bit of trial and error. It kind of looks a little, mm, you see the color, but I really think this looks like nectar. So I just put it right onto the little bottles and you're gonna see what we do with it. So cute. This is for my honey. It's daffodil, moon yellow, fire coral, and some gold. I thought this looked kind of like honey. I'm not sure, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's so cute. So I don't know why I painted this white because now I'm going through with my antique wax and I'm just doing the entire box. I definitely wanted to have a little bit more of a rustic feel to go with those hives that I made. And I'm just gonna do a little distressing on the edges, not too much, just a little bit. Now we're gonna add the words for Honey Farm and I decided to use the stencils instead of whipping out my cameo for this. It's super simple and I had these stencils and the size was perfect. I just went through with my paint marker and I, when I did the stencil, like I said, it wasn't, um, like I didn't use any kind of Mod Podge or anything. So you definitely wanna go quick with that marker just so there's no bleed through. I did have a little bit here and there, but it really wasn't that noticeable. 
and I think this is super cute. These are those chalkboard signs. I just wrote with a chalkboard pen, 25 cents and five cents. And I felt like this was a little too silver, so I went through with that same paint marker and I just did the tops to those nectar bottles. And this is some Spanish moss. You guys know how I am about Spanish moss. And I'm just filling everything up. Those signs, I actually wrote upside down. So I had to pull the little clips off and hot glue it right to the bin. But I think that it came out cuter. And because I hate Spanish moss so much, I decided to put a little card at the bottom just to make it so it was a little bit cleaner when I moved it around. And I think this came out so cute. I am in love with this. It is just adorable. It's darling. It's, I just, I love it so much. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're returning, hey, and if you're new, welcome. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree crafts, DIY, gifts and decor, thrift flipping, and more. If you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing and joining our family. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Let's get back to the crafts. If this doesn't scream sweet, I don't know what does. This is some Dollar Tree stuff. Here's a little jar and a little wooden bead. I'm hot gluing that bead right to the top. We'll deal with that later. This is different rope than Dollar Tree rope, but this will be under $5 if you use the Dollar Tree rope. And we're doing the same thing we did for the beehive. I'm just hot gluing it right to the container. I love that container. It was so sweet. It actually pained me to wrap it in rope. So I'm definitely going to go back to get another one because it was so cute. So I'm just using my rope I had at home, but like I said, you could get Dollar Tree rope. I think it would probably just be probably two or three of them to get around this. And then after I tucked in the end and I hot glued it inside of the jar because I do want to use this. I do want to put some candies in it. So I made sure it was cute all edges. <laughs> And then I do the same thing to the top. I just have that same rope and I hot glue it and then I wrap it around. It's the same thing I did to the hive and to the dish and I just keep wrapping it. And as I get closer, I do cut it off and then I tuck it down so it was nice and tight and I did add a little bit of hot glue just to secure everything. Now I'm gonna color the wooden bead. It fell off, so obviously I didn't use the right kind of glue and I just painted it with that paint marker again and then I used my E6000 and my hot glue and I stuck that guy right back down. That heat gun there, I did not know this, but it burns your rope. That happened on accident, but then I did it to the rest of it because I loved how it looked. So here is another stencil. I don't know if I got this at the Dollar Tree. I'd like to say I did because most of the time these are where I get my stencils from. But this is again the same idea that I did with the other stencil. I just take the paint marker and I color it in. And I thought this was gonna be a little bit harder because it was rope and it really wasn't that hard. And then I just had to clean up around the edges and it kind of just go over it again just to make sure it was nice and dark and I didn't miss any lines but oh my goodness how sweet is that I am obsessed with the topper I love the burn marks I just love everything I love that it's functional oh I just love it so much this one is super quick super easy super cheap it was the chalkboard frame from the Dollar Tree. That's a dollar. Those stencils, also a dollar. The paint is fire coral. And I just went around the entire edge. I did it two coats and then I took the tape off and I was going to paint through this stencil with that gold you saw, but I decided against it. So I took my Sharpie, it is a copper sharp Sharpie. And again, you wanna go quick with this because there's definitely bleed through because we're not doing a Mod Podge or some kind of other medium before the paint. So just be quick. 
and then I go through and I darken everything up and that is it like that is the simplest project today so cute so simple and you could write any saying that you want of course this is a sweet tear so it has to be be sweet and wear a crown i just love it so much and you could use this for anything this guy my goodness he's just a little award i got from the kids section i have this little card here with a cute saying i love you more i painted it with my linen white and then i cut around to fit that saying inside of the award and it was just a little bit of measuring and cutting measuring and cutting but you could do this to any kind of picture that you found and i'm going to use mod podge on the back and i'm going to put it right down onto my award and then mod podge the top of it and now i go through with those little buttons that you little sticker buttons that you find at the dollar store they're all different colors but it's okay because I painted them with that linen white so everything was the same color and I just went through the entire thing I did give it like two coats and then I went around the edge just to make sure everything was even look how cute this is oh my goodness so simple so cute I love the saying it's so meaningful to me and my family and it lights up. I hope you enjoyed my five items under $5. I am in love with all of these. I think everything came out super sweet, super cute, and I just love all the motivation that is in these items to go onto my tear tray that is a sweet tear tray. This is a challenge, so follow along with the playlist and check out the hosts when you're done. As you can see, I started out with some random stuff I had at my house just to match the tear tray. Some jellies, honey, honey spoons, and candies to fill up the empty spaces. I started assembling and moving things around where I thought it would look cute. This was my first big tiered tray, and I have to be honest, I was a little nervous because some of the items were so small and with my medical issues, I wasn't sure if I was going to be fumbling around and cramping up, but I did it. Faith over fear. You just got to try. Make sure you follow me as Freckled Mom on social media for more inspiration. Last Friday, I had posted a video with a giveaway. Make sure you check that out. The link is in the description. I am also choosing a random winner this Friday to that giveaway. Also, I was thinking about having you guys over for coffee on Saturday morning. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to meet up around 10 a.m. I have so many awesome videos coming up, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Give some thumbs up on your way out, and maybe I'll see you guys live on Saturday. But I'll be back definitely for a new video on Sunday. Have a great day.